we're looking forward to getting back at it. Um, you know, clearly not our best the last two games. Coming at a tough time of the year, not to be at your best during the bean pot. Um, but, you know, we got to move past it. And, and now we get back into our hockey schedule against uh, Merrimack. Uh, they haven't played for two weeks. So I'm sure they're going to be hungry and, and ready to play. So we, we have to match uh, how they're going to play for sure. Bell, go ahead. Coach, you are talking last week about, you know, having – not drop two in a row this season. So how important does this game become trying to avoid three also against Merrimack who's trying to avoid four losses in a row? I think it's important that the most important thing is that, you know, we get back to, you know, playing our game with the right attitude, the right effort, effort, enthusiasm. I just thought that was missing the last two games. Um, so we have to find a way to get that back. And, and that's the most important thing is, is that, and hopefully the results will take care of themselves. But, you know, we, we didn't, we got away from the uh, stuff that has made us uh, successful throughout the year. And we have to get back to that uh, more than worrying about anything else. Owen, go ahead. Uh, Coach, all year long, you've, uh, you've shown a lot of confidence in uh, Drew Camesso and you've kind of let him play through those you know, moments or pockets of play where he struggled a little bit. So I'm wondering kind of what impresses you most about like his game and, and gives you that confidence in him. Yeah, he's been, he's been really good for us uh, the whole year. He, um, you know, every goal he goes through some stretches where they're not at their best. Um, I think he's actually been really good uh, recently. I know, listen, we can look at the last goal versus BC. Yeah. Does he want that one back? Of course he does. Uh, but overall, I think he's played really well as of late, and um, you, know, you have to trust your your number one guy, and, and we do. So he'll be back in the net uh, tomorrow night, and, and you know we expect him to play well, and, and I'm sure he will. Gracie, go ahead. Um, hey, coach, has there been anything in particular you've been pushing in practice this week, or has it been pretty routine? Uh, it's been for, for, for the most part uh, pretty routine. Uh, we're just trying to, you know, get the guys refocused. And um, it seemed like for, for whatever reason, our guys that were a little bit down, and, and I get it. Like, you, you lose that first game of the bean pot. It, it's, I think it's a, you know, shot to the gut to some of our guys. But, you know, you got to deal with adversity if you if you want to be a good team and go a long ways. I mean, you have to be able to find a way through that. So that's where we're at right now. Like, it's, it's we have been our best the last couple of games. You know, how do we respond to it? And that's kind of the message this week. I thought the energy in practice uh, was much better. Um, you know, we of course, we're always trying to improve and work on different things. Uh, I think for us, it's kind of the support in all three zones. I think we've gotten away from that a little bit. I think that's affected us. So it, it's starting to, you know, try, try to start being connected again as a group, not only on the ice, but off the ice. I think that's slipped a little bit, and, and we got to get back to it. Caroline, go ahead. Coach, you guys have gone one for 18 on the power play through your last five games, and I know it's something that you said that you were hoping to improve going forward. So have you guys made any adjustments during practice or rolling with the same group? Um, well, we right today we went back to the original groups. We're going to give them, you know, we had a conversation with the power play units. Um, they're going to get another shot together. Um, there have been times when they've been really good. And, you know, recently have they been good? No. So, they're going to get another opportunity. Uh, there's five good players on both units. Uh, they just have to have the mindset that they're going to be more direct. And for me, sometimes it's it's try to keep it simple. You have we outnumber them, so try try to outwork them and see how that that shakes out, rather than trying to make you know the perfect play. So we got to have a little bit more of that mindset, and we'll give the, those units another look tomorrow night. Owen, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Coach, uh, I know it's been a little bit of a competition uh, throughout the year for that kind of six D, D man spot between Jarman, uh, Cope, Getz, like those guys. I'm just wondering kind of what, what are you sort of asking of, of, you know, each of those three guys to, if, you know, if, if they want to cement their spot in the lineup here? Well, I think that six spot, I think whoever's in that spot understands that they might not get a ton of ice time. So for them, when they're out there, they just have to do their job. Um, and, you know, as defensemen, you're looking for D to be able to break a puck out, be able to make a good first pass. Um, 
Uh, make sure you have good gaps, good sticks, be able to defend. Don't get beat one on one. Um, do a good job in front of the net. Just those little things uh, that make a difference. And it, if guys do that, they, they're going to continue to play. And Jarman, we thought played pretty well the other night uh, against BC. I know limited minutes again, but that's kind of what that role's been this year. So he'll go back in tomorrow night. Michael, go ahead. Hey, Coach, Merrimack has one of the lowest power play percentages in the league, and you've expressed your utmost uh, confidence in your penalty kill group. What have you seen in film that you've been telling them, you know, this is an area we'd like to target against Merrimack? Yeah, I think the first thing is, and we've talked about this, uh, I think, for the whole year, is trying to stay out of the box. If you can limit their power plays, it's a lot easier for your penalty kill the guy that, Killing, don't get tired, they don't have to be out there as much. Um, yeah, I'm sure Merrimack hasn't played for two weeks, so I'm guessing they're probably going to make some adjustments, uh, especially if their power play hasn't been going well. I thought our penalty kill against BC, who has an excellent power play, was really good the other night. I know we gave up the goal, I think the puck was missing the net by three or four feet and ended up hitting McCarthy, try to get his foot out of the way, and it's not a lot going off his foot in the net, but overall. Against probably one of the better power plays in the country, it was very good. So, um, for the most part, you know, I know we, our numbers aren't where we wanted to be. I think for the most part, our kills are okay there. Laura, go ahead. What would you say is like the identity of Merrimack's team, and what are they good at? Like, what are their strengths? I think they play with uh, really good structure. They're they're a good forechecking team. They play a simple game. They, they're going to make it work to break pucks out. Um, they're going to be good in the neutral zone. They're not going to let you just skate in the neutral zone. They're going to force you to put pucks behind them and, and go to work. And especially in their building, it's a tight building. Things happen really fast. So that's, you know, tomorrow night, it's keeping it simple. And, and that's how we have to play. And that's how we have to go into that game. And especially after the um, couple of, you know, the last two games we played, not doing those things. And that has to be our mindset tomorrow. Uh, Bell, go ahead. Um, Coach, not about the game, but Brian DeRoche's retirement was announced yesterday. Just part of the BU hockey community. What was your reaction to that, and kind of what he's meant to the to the program? Yeah, he, he's been part of this program for so long uh, as a player uh, to be the first head coach in the women's program. Uh, he came to to come up and told uh, uh, the coaches, the men's coaches, what was happening. So it was, uh, you know, obviously a little sad, and but. Overall, like he's got to be really proud of how he's built that program and, and what he means to the whole BU hockey community. So um, we, we wish him nothing but luck. And he's, the good thing is he's going to be around every day. So that's uh, that's that's uh, the best thing about it. All right, we'll take one final question from Laura. Um, You mentioned that breaking the puck out is going to be important this weekend. And I know you said you want to keep it simple, but what would a good breakout look like against Merrimack? I think execution is the number one thing because uh, there's not a lot of space in, in that building. So like I talked about before, we need to have better puck support in all three zones. So our guys know where they're supposed to be on the breakouts um, and we just have to pick the right option. And that, that's the biggest thing for us, the execution piece. When we execute, you know, clearly any team is going to be better when we execute, but we're, that's where we're at our best. 